今日安尼有限，每年播出其中一场，精辟的开始，主题是《石土之间》节目，佛教故事，行山老师五阶之功德，老甘甜强大，十世之七，用英文开始以用乾坤十五年，八月出生。念看淡薄，尘埃烟花，枕团红月，眉多满满。And then there's another one here. There's another shock. And the teacher, you know, the Brahman said, if you nail ten thousand nails on your body, then I will teach you. And the king say, "Oh yes, yes, sir. I will do that. I will obey your command. But please give me seven days. <laughs> you have magical power. You know things in advance. Ah, <laughs> clairvoyance. Okay, good, good. <laughs> At least you have good memory. <laughs> okay. After that, then I will." Because I want to report to all my citizens, so that they can come and also benefit from your teaching, yeah, and also to say goodbye. Because after ten thousand nails on your body, I don't think you will leave, no. Maybe you can try and tell me. <laughs> How do you know if you didn't try? Yeah, but in uh, India, many yogis they they tried it. They practice uh, asceticism, you know. They lay on the nail bed to sleep. Or at least for a while, you know, really nail, pointed nail, sharp, the well, lay on it. The one that they, they cut through the skin too. Yeah, yeah. Some they just do all kind of things in order to to gain wisdom, hmm? to gain higher level of enlightenment. All they have to do is just come to the Supreme Master Ching Hai, <laughs> like you, right? I don't know. I don't know how 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 you get this enlightenment. Did you secretly <laughs> nail your body at home, <laughs> pray for it, or vow? Probably, probably we do other things. Yeah, do other things. Do other thing. no. What did you do, baby? <laughs> I mean, big baby. It's long story. Long story? Maybe one day you tell us, huh? <laughs> yes. I write a book. <laughs> She said, "Write a book." <laughs> okay. When we have a better place, or you know, I stay longer, then maybe you can come and go, and then you have more time, and then you can tell. Hmm. Okay. Right now, I don't know how long you stay this weekend. Maybe you're going home soon, so I just try to remind you thing first. Okay, from the Buddha. All right. Okay. And after seven days, everybody heard about that, and they all come to the capital city, and then many of the representative, probably lower representative of the parliament, people come and request the king, you know, la la la, like before, you know, uh, we represent the whole citizens of this country, come here to congratulate you and wish you a long life, ten thousand year, etc. Because we know that, due to your merit, that our country are blessed with peace and prosperity. So please, do not leave us. Forsake the nailing stuff, <laughs> nailing stuff, <laughs> so that we have someone to rely on, to depend on. You are like father to us, etc., etc. You know, or similar. And then uh, the. To twenty thousand wives and concubines come after to say the same thing like before. Okay, I don't have to. <laughs> do I have to continue? <laughs> I don't have to repeat the same thing. You know everything already. <laughs> Even he knows. <laughs> okay. The Buddha sacrificed suffering, and we're laughing. <laughs> we are terrible people. 
we truly prevent, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> we do, no? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> My disciples, they just make me laugh. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> Forgive us. He's a Buddha already. He don't care anyway, right? <laughs> that, that was a past life, right? Anyway, just a story, okay? And then, uh, you know, concubine, and then official court, and, uh, you know, everybody come and ask him to to, to, to abolish this uh, decision of nailing. And the king say, I have observed that life after life, so many countless lifetimes. <laughs> she is still laughing. Please don't do it. <laughs> you infect me. Let me read the serious story, please. <laughs> this chocolate, she keeps laughing. She's hiding and laughing. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> you can laugh openly and finish, okay? <laughs> Just openly laugh and finish it, <laughs> so I can finish the job. <laughs> because there are many more lifetimes, do you understand? <laughs> Not only one. <laughs> the Brahman king, he definitely want to remind the Buddha of what is it all about, you know? Why he want to become Buddha, you know? So he keep telling all this story, as if the Buddha don't remember. <laughs> And then the king said, I observed that many lifetime, life after life, so, so countless lifetime, uh, I myself also uh, running around in the cycle of life and death, you know, all the time, and uh, drowning in this kind of exi existence. Uh, this kind of body has been lost countless time, countless time already. And then all that kind of the body has been lost, has also been running after greed and anger and ignorance and sensual pleasure only. If we can count all the body's bones that has been rotten from life after life, then it, for myself, my body's bone would have been higher than the, uh, the Everest, the Mount Everest, for example. Yeah. He said, Tu Yi, I don't know where, where that country, where, where that mountain is. So for us, Everest is higher, so I say Everest, okay, huh? He didn't say Everest here, but okay, it's so that you understand. I'm just like the Buddha, it has to be solid. <laughs> have to have a number or a position or a location, so that you remember, huh? Okay. The head has been rolling, the blood has been flowing. It would have been, you know, gathered together, it would have been like a five, six river yeah, already. And uh, tears have been flowing. Could feel many of the... No, he has a number here. <laughs> <laughs> the tears, yeah, would have been, uh, you know, more than four, f four oceans. Yeah. You know, before the blood flow more than five river, and this one more than four ocean. I told you, must have the number. Yeah. So all these uh, lives and body has been reborn and died, reborn and die. It was a waste, a waste of time, waste of body. It has not been, be, uh, has not been offered to seek the truth, to attain enlightenment. Therefore, all this body has been such a waste. So this time, I want to nail my body to offer to the Master to search Buddhahood. Okay, so at this time, I do this um, to offer my body in order to become Buddha, eh? to use this merit toward Buddhahood. Eh? So do not stop me, because I do this also for you, eh? for all of you. When I became Buddha, I will liberate you first, enlighten you first. This is a very great merit. It's a very great cause. So do not try to deter me. Yeah. After that, everyone keep quiet and don't say anything anymore, because they know he's determined to offer himself. And then the king went in front of the master and said, please, uh, can you teach us first? Because after 
after I nail myself, thousand nails, then maybe I would die already without knowing the teaching. Yeah. So the master said something like this again, a quadrant. Yeah. Everything is impermanent. <laughs> you can tell the rest. <laughs> Uh, being born means having suffering, you to die, yes. Everything that appears here in the world has no ownership, so nothing you could own. Mm. Everything belongs to nothing. <laughs> you also belong to nothing. And that's true, no? That's it, four stanzas. And then after that, the king was very happy, tell everybody, copy and give it to everybody, you know, <laughs> to everybody, every day have to remind themselves to recite it all the time. And then the king tell them to nail him. Mm. Every king of the smaller kingdom and all the officials, all the wives, concubines, children, they all, you know, throw themselves on the ground and crying and, you know, yelling lamenting, and the whole heaven and earth shake, shake so much, waking all the gods up again. <laughs> and they surprised, woke up, looked down, huh? And then they felt such a rare phenomena, rare sacrifice. So they were so very touched, they throw all the flowers down, and the heavenly flower too, to offer. And then the chakra god come down again. Oh, isn't this guy? Huh? Well, mind your own business, I would say. <laughs> you come down and ask. Not say, okay, I feel sorry for you, or are you pain, or anything. <sighs> you sacrifice so much, suffer so much. What do you want to be? Huh? You want to be a uh, Brahma god? You want to be the king of uh, of the will? I don't know, there's a, such a thing. I don't know what the king of the will is was supposed to be. Or you want to be chakra god? Uh, or you want to be Maya, uh, etc.? He's worried, you know, that this king will take his kingdom, take his throne, more married. You see what I mean? Yeah. It happened. It could happen. Jealous. I am the jealous God. That's what it is. Yeah. So the king replied, Reverend God, I forsake my own body just to, uh, to request for the truth, you know, to enlighten truth so that I can help all beings to be liberated like myself, but I do not but I do not uh, request any merit on this uh, heavens or earth merit or to become rich or God or anything like that. And then the chakra god, he's a god of the astral, the chief god of 33 levels of astral level, of astral, you know, spiritual level. He's a chief of the 33 heavens, yeah, chief of all the gods of the 33 heavens in the astral area. He asked, but I saw you suffering not peacefully. You know, of course. <laughs> this God. How can? How can? Yeah. yeah, how can? I asked. Nail yourself a thousand times on your body and have to be quietly suffer. What the heck he wants, huh? Why don't he do it himself and he know how he can suffer quietly, you know? Yeah, that reminded me of the story. That one of the Zen master, you know, in the Zen story, one of the Zen master has a disciple. He doubted that whether his master is really enlightened or has any attainment or not. So one day he waits for his Zen master's sleep. He came in and pull his leg and twist it around. <laughs> and the master wake up and, ow, ow, ow! <laughs> you know, of course. And the, um, the disciple asked, you in pain, Master? He said, of course I'm in pain. 
Then he said, if you still feel pain, then, then you're not enlightened, are you? Oh, God. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Teaching a dog is easier. Mm. <laughs> Fetch. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> yeah. So the Sakra God asked him, do you feel regretful what you've done? So the king said, no, I have no regret. Uh, what do you say that? Only from my lips. How can you prove it to me? Oh, God. So the, the, the king has to vow again in all heaven. Like he vowed to all the ten direction Buddhas, I, if my heart really have no regret, then please be witness. Because I only want to seek the truth, the liberating truth. I don't want any of the godly or earthly fruit of marriage. So if it is true like that, let my body regain its normal appearance. And immediately, yes, all the nails popped out and then his body became as normal but much brighter than before. And at that time, all the heavens and earth and humans and all beings have seen such a sincerity of his heart. They're all clapping and happy and dancing. Yeah. World honor one. The king that nailed his own body at that time is you now. Your heart as great as the ocean, as uh, wide as the sky, have destroyed many of the beings' uh, wrong concept about spiritual practice because they are just like um, drowning in mud, this quicksand, yeah, and mm, suffocating, don't know how to help themselves. Please do not leave these pitiful children of yours, your children, beautiful children, and go into nirvana. And then he continued, remember another story. I don't know how many more stories until... You, you, you want to listen more? You want to go sleep now? Tell me the truth. I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind, whatever. I don't know when you can come again. You know? If you don't ask me to bore holes in my body, I, I do anything else. <laughs> I do anything else, it's okay, rather. You know, compared to the Buddha sacrifice, I'm sitting here reading your story, it's nothing, okay? <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, how many? But, but I don't know. You sit there. Are you comfy still? Yes. Tell me the truth. If you want to go sleep, I don't mind. Whatever. I'm here just for you. You see? Not for me. Tell me. So if, if, you, if you do this to please us, so it's a, an honor to please you and listen to you. Okay. Good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Have you been a diplomat or something? You know? Have you been have you been like ambassador of some country? Okay. You know how to talk, huh? Uh, probably he's learning from all this uh, ancient talk, you know. Okay.